Okay. Hey guys, it's Chelsea. So, I chose to film in my mom's room. Whoops, and the wipes in that car. I'm going to talk about the new ABC Family show, Stitchers. I have this condition. You know that feeling of deja vu? That's how I feel all the time. You had some... You want to insert my consciousness into this guy's dead brain? For God, stitching. There are monsters everywhere, and we can stop them. Oh, no. Let's go get him. Stitchers premieres Tuesday, June 2nd, 9, 8 central, ABC Family. I watched the first two episodes last night on abcfamily.com. It comes out on Tuesday before or after, um... Pretty little airs. I'm gonna talk about Stitchers because this show is kind of good, and I'm gonna try to convince you in about 10 minutes or however long this takes me to try to watch this show. There may be spoilers in here, and I know that I forgot to say spoilers in the last video that I made, and it was the Fosters three at time. Hey season guys, three, episode Chelsea, one, season and you're watching Chelsea summer and new premiere uh, episode review y'all should all know that that there would be spoilers in a tv show do you tv show review do you get where i'm going with this i don't think i can explain a review without listing any spoilers of the show doesn't make sense i don't know why i used to say that spoilers 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 but i'm going to say it now and i'm going to try to say it in any future video notice i said try this stitchers uh show is kind of weird um it reminds me of a mashup of a zombie and continuum continuum is a, i believe a canadian show zombie is from the cw a zombie where she basically just eats the brain of the deceased so she can figure out the memories and go back and try to catch the killer oh so, you know what uh, this show is almost exactly like CW, I mean, which will probably cause it to cancel this season. But let's just go on and continue this because pretty much eye candy, um, eye candy, um, revolution. I think that some of the greatest shows that were made stop at very low seasons. Even though Pretty Little Liars, Vampire Diaries, and Glee... They're all good shows, but they have been, what, to their, like, 13th season? So, yeah, I believe it all, it has all been six, I believe. Um, Stitchers is a group who hacks into the brains of recently deceased to solve crimes. The, uh, here, let me tell you what it says on the website. List of series built around a wide-eyed youth with an unusual skill who are recruited to join the a save-the-world type of enterprise. In this case, the protagonist is a beautiful and brilliant Caltech student with temporary dysplasia. Dysplasia means that you cannot uh, feel the passage of time. So when her family friend slash father dies, she feels no emotion. She feels no anger. She feels no sadness. She can't feel love. But when she does feel emotions, it is from the memory and the feelings of the person who died, who she cut, uh, to get the feelings or the memories from a dead or deceased person. ABC Family has enjoyed the success with a certain kind of drama featuring young women from a distant sutures, a title incidentally that sounds like a casual shoe, appears reasonably compatible with that after the first two episodes of the series looks like less part of the collection and more factory made knockoff stitch together from a piece of an another show um that's pretty much all i have to say if you want to you should watch this show i don't really know how i convinced you to watch the show or if i convinced you to watch the show i'm just telling you a few tips and tricks that you probably should know while watching this uh, a girl, the woman who plays uh, Kirsten, Kirsten, her name is Emma Aishta, Aishta, I don't know how to say her last name, I-S-H-T-A, seen in the Indies, I Smile Back in the ABC family. Manhattan Love Story is a aloof tech genius who is quickly drafted into the program, which is run by Maggie. She's an actor, and her name is Sally Richardson Whitefield. Kristen travels within the minds of the dead, requiring a high-tech skin-tight suit that looks like Catwoman, as she observes 
Although one suspects the marketing standpoint the design was chosen for a reason more practical than utility. I have no clue what that means. The other option she was told that she would have to be completely naked. But I don't know what that meant. But that would have been that would have played a different network of probably like that would have been played by a different network, such as whatever one plays. I'm going to read one of the comments. Ray, Ray says, okay, watch episode last night. Thought the premiere was okay, but marred by the only ob obligatory bad secret gov government agency. I suppose we want to prevent, prevent bombings and then is mad because they're actually prevented and seems more concerned by keeping itself a secret than saving lives. It's a plot device not getting awfully tired of this show degrading U.S. government agencies. I don't follow at all the special skills, talent, defects. Even has to do with reviving someone's memory. At one point, she is recalling something she says. Blowing her temporal displeasure really seems to me it is just an ordinary memory recall. The cast, you have standard issue. Young white guy being the brains of potential love interest. The young Indian tech geek, etc. The deserved young pretty female lead role reminds me a lot of Parker and Leverage. This could have been a good show. I think this show is going to end. This is what I think. I think this show is going to end because it is a cliche of any government agency show. Continuum, iMovie. Solving the brunch, to hacking into someone's memories. If this was real, this couldn't be real. No. I mean, in the futuristic world, this could be real, but not in 20, whatever year, 15 we are in right now. We're not going to have this technology. Yes, we have the technology to apparently give a soldier a arm of a dead person. So they basically cut off someone's arm, obviously someone who wanted to give their life to research and cut his arm off, didn't cut it off, probably did surgery and got it off and then connected it to the wounded soldier who had his arm cut off or amputated off in battle uh imagine what if we had this in the war ages this would be crazy but we didn't people died Just crap happened and some years later i heard that that fella did come up with a bumper sticker slogan and he made a lot of money off of it <laughs> life goes on so that's pretty much all i have to say for this okay so the 214 the 100 i've done that 215 i've done 216 uh i've done the fosters i've done chasing life i've done eye candy any tv show review requests please comment down below, below comment like and subscribe to see more videos like this as i always like to say thank you so much for watching have a really good day um, so yeah, thanks for watching. No, I think I've done that.